say that makes you safe is a good lie. So I don't like to use the word lie. Because lying sounds so evil. We don't lie in high school. No, no. We're masters of the fib. We fib about why our homework's not done, why we're late for school, where we really are on the weekends. <laughs> These, however, are my favorite three fibs. I guarantee the car will stop immediately and let you out. You must be able to see what I'm doing right now, because all three of these things include actions. I love when I say that, and little faces pop up all over the place. Welcome back. Okay, they're called the three P's for easy reference. P number one, tell the driver you have to pee. But don't just tell them, dance for them. Dance the famous pee dance I'm sure you've used on occasion to get out of class when you don't really have to pee. If you have no idea what the pee dance looks like, I am now going to dance for all of you. Because I promised up front that I'd embarrass myself. Not that showing you gigantor naked bum wasn't embarrassing enough. I am now going to pee dance for all of you. Please enjoy. You hold your bladder, which is lower than your belly button. Sitting in the passenger seat or back seat of the car with your seatbelt on. Put your knees together or cross them if you can, whatever's more comfortable for you. Then you start to wiggle. Because the more wiggling you do, the more they believe you. Say in a really whiny and comfortable voice, but I have to pee so bad. Do you think anyone in their right mind wants you peeing on their passenger seat? They're going to stop the car and they're going to let you out. Pee number two, tell the driver you think you're going to puke. But again, don't just tell them. Show them. This time hold your stomach, which is higher than your belly button. Sitting in the passenger seat with your seatbelt on. Lean forward and hold your breath. You will all go one of three different colors if you hold your breath long enough. You go red, green, or blue, all of which, fantastic, before pink colors. Once you change color, proceed to drool out the side of your mouth. Because if you have ever had the just before the puking stage, they know that too. Let it hang down your chin. Make a little puddle for me if you need to. Say things like, I don't feel so well. I think I'm going to puke. Don't laugh when you say that. If you get angry, because I don't care if it's a bus driver or a parent or sibling, they also don't want you puking in their car. They will stop the vehicle, they will let you out. Third and final pee happens to be my favorite pee. Because ladies, I'm telling you, one day it will be the best weapon you ever have. There is no man on earth. I don't care if it's your dad, boyfriend, friend boy, whatever it is you call them. I know you call them friend boys. Or my favorite of all, any of the male PE teachers in school that want to hear all about your period. This is what you must say, ladies, quote me. This is what you must say in order to make the car stop immediately and let you out. You, you start the conversation by saying, uh oh oh. <laughs> it almost makes men worry a lot. The conversation goes as follows, ladies. Uh oh, I've started my period. <laughs> I'm sitting here bleeding on your seat. How fast do you think that car just stopped? Probably much faster than it should have stopped. And ladies, I'll bet you money, if it was a boyfriend, friend, or brother, they drove away and left you there. 